Okay, so let's look at string find. And string find gives you a way to evaluate strings and find a string inside of another string. And also gives you the option of where to start looking for that string. So if in, in my notes here, and I'm going to make these a bit more readable like that. If I say string find and find this string in this string. So I'm going to look for hello. i say hello. Find hello inside of my string var. Output the result. Give me, give me that in a note. Okay, let's check what that does. Zero. So zero is the index where a low is inside the string. So it's on index zero because it starts here at zero. If, for example, I say world, okay, find world in my string. Where is that at? And I come here and reload and check very well. Okay, it gives me six. Six, okay, six. So if this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six world starts at index six that's why it gives me six we can also look for uh just a letter let's look for i so i'm just gonna say i give me i where is i so i'll reload i'll check the variable i is at position 13 position 13 so zero one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there you go, there's I. Now, optional start search index. What if I say start searching from, we know that this is position 13, start searching from position 14, which is where T is at. I say start searching from position 14. What that will do is it's gonna skip the first I because the first I is at position 13. And it gives me 25. And if I check one, two, three, blah, 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 this I is at position 25 because I started searching after the first I right there. Now, what happens if I'm looking for something that it's actually not in my string? For example, Mike. Mike is not in my string, so it's going to output minus one, saying that no, this string, Mike, it's not inside of this string. It's not there. I didn't found it. So I'm giving you minus one. So this is a way that we can use, we can use to evaluate if a string is present in another string. So in an if else statement, we can ask if string find Mike in string var, if you find Mike in string var, if this is equal to minus one, that means Mike is not in string var. So we can say note Mike not found. Because whenever this outputs a minus one, it means that this string was not found inside this string. So if I now reload and I check my variable, Mike was not found, man. We could also ask for the opposite. For example, I can ask if world exists inside of my string. Give me world was found. So if I reload this, get my first if statement. Mike not found. And then I got my second world was found because I'm saying not equal. So if it's not equal to minus one, then this string was found inside of this string. And that's how you can use string find to evaluate strings inside of strings.